The, the story about meditation and meditation research in, within the scientific process is a very interesting story. I think it actually comes in three waves. One wave was in the 19th century, when mostly German Indologists discovered uh, meditation and, and Hindu uh, or, uh, um, Vedanta uh, knowledge and brought that to the West. Schopenhauer is an example for that. Then there was a comparative silence and when uh, transcendental meditation was brought to the West in the 60s by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, there was another wave. But the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi uh, movement was, was criticized for being sectarian and for being very secluded and not transparent enough. And so the research died down again. And then mid, mid and end of the 80s, John kabat developed what is called Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Program, a very simple, secularized, uh, eight-week behavioral training program that can be taught by anybody and that is free from any um, dogmatic load. It's really secular, 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 secularized and everybody who wants to uh, learn that can do that without exception. can be atheist, can be a, a, rich, a religious person, can be of any religion. And that was actually the step that did the trick because then every scientist could deal with it without having to be afraid of being accused of sectarianism. And that... Uh, made a big inroad in the medical community because it was shown that with that method even very severely ill patients can profit in their quality of life and the data support uh, the installment of such a method.